dopamine in the heat of high summer I'm often drawn to the coast and today I've come down to Eastbourne to bring you a show from the rather wonderful Towner Gallery which you can see behind me um, in Eastbourne this lovely city town in Sussex by the sea the Towner Gallery is one of my favourite galleries in the southeast of England. It has large gallery spaces which allow the works to sing. And I've fallen in love with several artists over the years, having seen shows here. William Gear became one of my favourite British abstract artists after um, seeing a wonderful retrospective here. And David Nash, an artist who works in wood, who's very well known but I hadn't really seen much of until the show at the Towner Gallery, uh, made, it made him become one of my favourite artists. And obviously this is kind of like the home gallery of Eric Revilius as well. There's a permanent Revilius display in the Revilius room here and there was a wonderful show Revilius and Co which looked at his work. Today I want to bring you this show um, that looks at the, the patron of the arts and gallery owner Lucy Wertheim. She was born in Manchester and set up a gallery in London that was specifically um, set up to support up and coming artists, something she felt there wasn't much um, support for at the time. Um, this show is called Lucy Wertheim, A Life in Art. And also there's a, a sort of, I think as far as I can work out, a, a, a linked show called reuniting the Twenties group and the Twenties group was a group of artists that Lucy Wertheim kind of um, encouraged and nurtured and um, this show is on until the 25th of September and it's £12.50 to get in and there's absolutely no reason why you can't come to Eastbourne for the day from London or maybe combine it with some other places on the south coast like the Bexhill Delaware Pavilion which is a short train ride away, Hastings Contemporary and so much more. Um, so do join me as we head inside the Towner Gallery to be able to um, explore this show, Lucy Wertheim, A Life in Art and Reuniting the Twenties Group. I'm really intrigued because I don't know quite what to expect from this show. Show. So come and join me. Well, I've thoroughly um, enjoyed my day down here at Eastbourne. Just look at how beautiful the sea is over there. It's a lovely clear day. Not too hot, but hot enough certainly to have a dip, which is what I fully intend to do when I've finished um, wrapping up this vlog. Um, I, the, the, the first thing I'd say about the show um, at the Towner is uh, that this is really one show. It's sold as two shows, Lucy Wertheim, A Life in Art and Reuniting the Twenties Group. Um, 
but it's, it's really to all intents and purposes. Combined, lots of the paintings overlap, the galleries interlink, and at the centre of it is this really important patron of the arts and gallery owner, Lucy Wertheim. Um, I didn't know much about her, and I've come to expect excellent curation from the towner, and this did not disappoint. The show was uh, told a really compelling story through the art itself, but also through loads of different documentation, letters um, from, 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 from Wertheim to artists, um, as she beat, um, beat the drum for younger British artists in this pre-war period especially. The main gallery, although she owned lots of galleries, her main most famous gallery, um, existed in the 1930s um, and what I mean the, the storytelling of the show was, was outstanding it was excellent you got a sense of the first world second world war sorry um, putting a really abrupt end to this Work, worked on myself and, and her husband spent lots of time in Paris where she felt that younger artists um, had much more of a chance to to display and exhibit than they did in Britain and so she gathered together this group of young artists around her and put them on at her show in London and, and got some really interesting um, reviews and uh, as a result and quite a lot of attention. Um, this show also puts women at the center of the show. Um, Wertheim herself was a woman um, gallery owner and patron of the arts in what was an incredibly masculine world. And similarly, some of the many of the artists that she supported were women who were beginning to forge careers in what was a man's world. There were some names that I hadn't heard of really before or seen much work of, like Suzanne Cooper and Isla Rodmel from both the pre- and post-war period, as well as artists like Francis Hodgkin, who I'm a bit more aware of. And what was really clear from this show was that many women artists stopped producing when they had children. They were expected to take on that role of housewives and, and didn't really ever talk about the fact that they'd been artists exhibiting in Wertheim's, Wertheim's studio before the war. Um, so that was really, really interesting. Um, there were there were some really established names like Christopher Wood um, and, and uh, Barbara Hepworth and many many artists some of whom have just disappeared from the from the from the from the consciousness of the UK art scene and haven't really been displayed at all i would say that the art itself did not wow me there wasn't a moment where i sort of my heart began to beat faster and i fell in love with an artist that i didn't know before and that has happened before at the town with william gear and i absolutely fell in love with him as i said in my introduction but um, having said, so, so I would say the art itself is not sort of outstanding. Now you might totally disagree with me with that by the way, and obviously to a large extent what, what people like about art is really subjective. So if you do disagree, pop it in the comments if you think I've been a bit harsh about the quality of the art itself. But um, the show is, is, is curated in such a way that I still really recommend it. I enjoyed it, it was compelling, it told a story of an important period in British art, almost like a John the Baptist moment before the explosion of post-war art that you see at post-war modern, and then the fantastic art of the 60s onwards. So I do recommend that you come and see this show. I mean, why else would you not want to come to lovely Eastbourne? The Town of Gallery is one of my favorite galleries in the Southeast. And as I say, even though the art isn't like superb itself the curation is really good and um, so yeah come along the show's on until the 25th of September it is £12.50 to get in which in my opinion is good value you get a lot of bang for your buck at this show the larger galleries on the upper floor do stop off at the cafe as well with wonderful views of the Eastbourne Tennis and the South Downs National Park um, and don't forget to subscribe to the art vlog hit that notification bell for reviews and previews of upcoming shows across London the southeast of England where we are today and beyond um, I, I don't forget also to get out there and keep exploring this incredibly rich and vibrant art scene that we have here in Britain